I'm excited to be checking out Circuit Superstars. A bunch of people tweeted me this last night um, when the developer announced that they were going live on Steam, and they said, hey, this might be up your alley. And I think you might be right. It's an arcade racing game from a top-down perspective with simulation aspects, like real motorsport simulation aspects. An interesting marriage of, um, you know, both the casual and the accessible alongside uh, maybe some more hardcore and simulation type uh, mechanics. I'm interested to give it a shot. A, confirm, B, back. Okay, we will do B, back. You got some free play, you got some beta online. You got weekly time trials, you got arcade mode. You know what, we should probably start with the... Let's start with the little arcade mode before we go online. Amateur feather. Maximum possible points, 78. I, that's me, I'm a whole boar vet. Waiting for players, 018. I confirm myself as being in the Caterham 7 Classic. And uh, I'm, I might need to move my camera over the course of this, but we'll see. Ooh, that's that's lovely. This is like the way that a, a, a golf game introduces its cor uh, courses. I was going to say corpses. All right. So I'm right off the bat, I'm just going to move myself down to the bottom left. That seems like the, the best place for me to be. I got to move 12 different screen regions out of the way first. There we go. All right, here we go. Wait, wait, pause, pause, pause. St steer, throttle is A, which is X, I suppose. Um, reposition is Y. Brake is square. All right. Or you can just use the trigger, even better. All right. I'm going to go ahead and suggest we probably should have considered using our brake there. Probably should have been using our brake there, my mistake. Restart. Reposition me, please. Okay, we're gonna, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. There you go, okay. Dude, it's got a real sense of, of drift to it. I know it sounds crazy. It feels, like it feels weighty. It's very hard to describe game feel, of course, but. And I know that there are uh, pit stops in the game as well. I don't know if they're in the arcade mode. But that's one of the things that kind of appealed to me, is the idea that, like... Uh, you know, it, it's like an, an arcade racing game like this, but also... Yikes. Uh, with online mode and also uh, some, like, simulation aspects is kind of neat. Because I, I, I love racing games, but the, part of the problem with racing games is that there's almost like a little bit of a skill gap, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't want to get so hardcore into them that I'm, like, you know, I'm wearing racing gloves on my stream or anything like that. Um, but I, I also... It's hard to get other casual players interested in them because they look at something like F1 and they're like, I don't know what the heck's going on there. But just the, the thrill of a racing game, like... it's There's something, like, innately human about it, right? Rip my man's tires. Yeah, I'm, the way I'm considering this right now is I'm just going to drive the crap out of this thing. And if they want me to pit, tell me later. I mean, look at this. We're getting some serious centrifugal motion here. Didn't even touch the guardrail on that one. I will say, I, they, they did not send their best competitors. Touching the curbs. It feels really nice. I know I've said it a couple of times here, but... Like, I can feel myself skidding here. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful performance. This might be a new track record. When You, you don't want orange sparks, you want blue sparks. Can you change the camera? I think th that's kind of like the appeal, I think, is that the camera is like this. But it might be a little loud. It might be a little loud. We could We could turn it down a little bit. There you go, and then just just enjoy your little your recreation lap at the end. There you go. That should be a little better. We gotta wait for all these losers to finish. Embarrassing. I I'm not even driving anymore. Like I I'm just I'm just enjoying my life. It does seem like my wheels look kind of bad though. I don't know if that's relevant, but just a nice little victory lap here. 
Are we done? There we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Well, we won easily. 22 seconds ahead of Argo. I'll be honest. I think we got to take it to the next level. Like we got to, we, we got to like quit this arcade and and go on to the next one. Sugar Hill. Is this still loud? It might be a little loud still. <laughs> we'll see. This this one has a it has a pit lane. It's a bit loud still. All right. It's going to be quiet at all other times. But I understand that the engine is like a little, you know, I mean, when you're revving it, it's it's getting up there. All right. Let, let's get a clean racing line. Let's get some focus. I mean, this is a testament to the, the drivability of the Caterham 7 Classic. Like... This is the kind of car where, you know, to send it off-road takes more work than just keeping it on the road. You know what I mean? Not not so big on the trunk space. You, you can maybe put like a sandwich in there, but... Now that, that's just a majestic turn until I lost it on the, on the counter steer. We should, we should pit after lap three. Let's just see what it looks like. It's the kind of car you'd take to meet your parents. <laughs> and the Caterham is a cool car. I, I I mentioned this a couple of years ago, but like I, I'm familiar with the Caterham because of uh, Project Gotham Racing 2. Um, but I actually saw one in Vancouver maybe like a couple of years ago. He was parked, and there was like a lineup of people that were coming to talk to him about his weird car. I was like, that's sick. Okay, that was not a good lap. I know I said I'd pit, but I'm kind of embarrassed by my lap performance up to this point. Like, like really embarrassed by my performance up to this point. Caterhams are all over the UK. Yeah, I know. Like, And so many people thought that I was insane when we were playing, like, GeoGuessr. And I had never seen a Vox hull. People were like, oh, they don't have those? Surely they have them all over the world. And I'm like, they don't have that shit in North America, man. Never seen a, a Vox hull in my entire life. Yeah, they're called opals? They don't have opals here. They don't they don't they don't have opal. I mean they probably you could probably get one, but they don't you know, they're not like they're not a car you would see like once a month. Citrone? Don't have them. We don't have them. We don't have them. I'm sorry. Is it... The, they're called Saturns in North America? Really? Well, this... Like, Saturn hasn't existed here since the 2008 recession, I think. Yeah, Saturn Saturn has not been around for a long time. I do <laughs> like we're on our victory lap, we're blocking the the cars behind us. That's so good. All right. Easy 30 second gap. I mean, I'm going to be honest, like take me take me out of this arcade mode. We got to go we got to go a little uh gotta go a little harder than that, I think. What about weekly time trials? We might have to restart the... Oh, no. We, we got that to disappear there. Yeah, we, we don't have Renault. Uh, and we also don't have Peugeot, which I, people have always laughed at me. Apparently, it's not called uh, Peugeot. But... Yo, look at that. GT Panther. Why not? Also known as the, the Porsche 911. Screech! Dude, I, I'll just say it. She's built like a steakhouse, but she handles like a freaking bistro. Let's see where we rank worldwide. And I, I, I hope that this is one of those games that has like a, a developer leaderboard and then a normie leaderboard. Because I'm thinking like first in the world. Yeah, 
if I'm playing it safe. First in the universe if I'm really trying. We call it per goo? Really? It said it's per goo? Peugeot? That makes way more sense. Peugeot? Where's the R, though? Oh, this is... This one's a disaster. Throw away the R. Peugeot? Uh, bless you. <laughs> okay. We're setting a new lap record here, I personally guarantee it. We should take it online now. I just hope there's no voice chat. I don't want it. Actually, I feel like the motorsport community, especially in a game where you can't crash into each other, is uh, is pretty nice as long as you don't, like, impede them. You know? He's trolling. He has to be. We don't have these cars in North America. I don't know what they're called. You th really think I would troll the, like, 14% of my audience that lives in the... the continental European Union in, in such a strange way we don't have the we don't have them here and also P-E-U-G-E-O-T is not like you know La Bibliotheque you know that's that's a word it's got some sounds in it that are a little unusual to me what's La Bibliotheque no it's US La Bibliotheque Je voudrais une bibliothèque plus grande, s'il vous plaît. I will drive to there in my Peugeot. Okay, this is our new record status. That's the that's the hairpin. Gets me every time. Look at that. We're, we're ahead by a nose. We're behind by a nose. That's nothing. Depends who's smelling. Look at that. Nice cut on the curb. Okay, you know what? Might have to might have to save this for our next lap. No, definitely not. Beautiful performance. Even better, please, even better. That was far from a perfect lap. The only time a gamer like me gets to make their mark on the leaderboards is the day it comes out. <laughs> All right, I feel like we learned something there. Let's play some let's play some online beta games. It is in beta. I was hoping there was to be some kind of like like a career mode, you know? Like uh I don't mind the arcade stuff, but I'm much more like, you know, the ability to start with like hey, you're going to start in like Formula 3 or go-karts or something like that and then you do a couple of those and then you know, you get the idea. Oh, we got a game. Okay, waiting for player zero of four. Um, I, you know, why, why don't we vote for why don't we vote for Whistle Valley? We get a one lap qualifier, fuel consumption. Oh, there's damage on that one. I'd like to take my vote back and vote for um, this this one with fuel consumption and tire wear, please. It's a 13 lap race. So I guess that's the more like simulation aspect of it is the idea that there's a, you know, these are longer races where, where you'll have to pit at some point. That's kind of neat. I mean, it did literally just come out. I'm not going to be too upset about like having a hard time finding players. Start with Le Mans 24 hour. <laughs> and the music is... Poggy Woggy. Well, I guess we'll be using the GT Panther for the time being. This guy's gonna get rammed and lose his mind. Hey, Rubin is racing. You know, I'm. For the most part, in these like uh, in these racing games, I'm not one of those guys. I mean, I don't run around trying to crash into people, but usually I'm the one like in project cars, accidentally like slipping into people, and then they lose their minds. Like I, I hit the brakes like an eighth of a second too late, and then they're like, "What are you doing?" 
Waiting for players. Three of four. Yeah, rubbing, rubbing is racing. They, yeah, uh, Lou Piero did quote me as saying, this game is heavy pog. Um, and I agree. Here we are, Copperwood Weekend. It's our qualifier. It's our one-lap qualifier. Obviously, Chad Bentley. Handsome pants! <laughs> Obviously, we want to be at the start. We want to we want to be in the at least at the at the first two positions. Oh my god, did you see that? Okay, I misjudged this turn. I'm just going to be honest with you. What do they call it when you start in the front two positions in F1? I forgot. Don't pit. Don't pit. It's a qualifier lap. What? I thought that was my lap. Oh, no. You get a hot lap first. Oh, son of a... All right. Don't panic. You just got to get ahead of green. Oh, jeez. Front row. Pro plus three seconds for corner cutting. All right. Wait, look, to be honest with you, it seems to me we'll probably end up starting on the back line here. Um, especially when you factor in that three-second corner cutting penalty. That may impact our strategy here. We'll be starting from the back row, but that just means we have good drafting capabilities. Oh my god, they had a 27 second lap. My best lap was 38 seconds. Oh, but that's with the 3 second time penalty. So I'm not sweating it. Yeah, come race control. I'm already starting at the back. You're going to give me a 3 second penalty? It's weird to have a pre-race for a race. Well, it's one of the things that appeals to me about this game is, you know, the the trappings of like cuz I, I really like the idea of like in motorsport how there's like a weekend related to things you know what I like in, instead of just being like ah you know there's a race here and there I like the idea that each one is like an event and you travel around like that kind of, that kind of stuff is exciting excuse me our car has taken a little bit of damage here um, by the way you cannot see but I have meters in the bottom left that that indicate how I'm doing here I'll try to keep you in, uh, abreast of the situation as okay see that was honestly in my opinion just a little mean-spirited um, I wasn't trying to hurt you or pass you. You didn't need to slow down just to slam into me. This is not a battle racing game. So if you could get some self-control, then I would appreciate it. Okay, honestly, you, you get what you deserve. You get what you deserve as far as I'm concerned. So I think it's kind of neat. Right now, health is at 75, fuels at 79, tires are at 83. Little more uh, off the throttle. Allows us to uh, keep our fuel going strong. Little less drifty, little less nifty drifty. Allows us to keep our tires going and, you know, not crashing into things. I'm sure is probably the best way to keep your your vehicle's health high. That was that was a cleaner lap. That was a cleaner lap. Sorry, I'm not letting you take the line on this one. If you pass me freely, then by all means, I, I let you I let you buy. I let you buy me. Okay, but try taking the corner like a real driver. Embarrassing. Absolutely beautiful corner. Acceleration through the apex. Some might say we're the legends of that. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm letting you by because you're kind of an aggressive driver. Oh, you're going to pit lane already. Okay. It's an interesting strategy to be super aggressive and then do a very dangerous cut just to go to pit lane. Keeping you abreast of the situation. We're at 50% fuel, 75% life still, 54% tires. This is not our finest lap. Third place, third place right now. Not a good, not a good corner. Fuel's still doing good. We're not gonna pit this lap. We'll be pitting next lap. Unless we accidentally turn into pit lane. You could do it. Just, just do a good race here. Like, this is a really compelling idea so far. 
You know, like something that has a little bit more strategy than... Like, not to... I love Forza, right? But, like, Forza Horizon is basically just, like, go fast. You know, take the turns correctly and go fast. Something like F1, where there's almost, like, a little bit of, like, a metagame strategy attached to it. But but the racing itself is not quite as punishing, at least right now. That's, this is a very neat idea. Okay. W what is our pit lane? Sorry. <laughs> oh, I started going way too fast. We're going to have to pit again. Where are we at? Fifth place? That's no good. Yeah, we, we our tires are still screwed. And our fuel is uh, half. We, we have to pit literally on the next lap. I mean, that's... That wasn't me. That was the tires. Were it me, I would never make that mistake. This is really neat. I would I would totally play more of this if I could get a group of, of like-minded individuals. I know I said we were going to pit on the next lap. I didn't. And now our tires are at 2. Our tires are at 0. This thing is it's like driving a freaking... I'm on a skating rink, man. <laughs> Just go back. Drive it on the freaking rims, dude. I'm about to get lapped by Alberto. Who I don't even I don't even think they're a real person. I think that's a that's a bot. Somehow we're in third. There must have been some heavy pits there. There you go. Okay, we're in pit lane. Cheat a little bit in pit lane. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, alright, yeah, 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 tires please, tires as well. That's good, that's all we need. Screw it! <laughs> alright, fifth place again. Is anybody else gonna have to pit? We don't know yet. Oh, hello. I don't, look, I'm not trying to cause problems. Just trying to race. That, that was the first place performer, I think, as well. Bad turn. Bad turn. I'm not trying to hit you. I'm not trying to hit you. Starting to memorize the course, eight laps deep. Look, there's no reason for first and last to get into a conflict like this, okay? I'm sure that, that race control is happy you just passed me. Now, now go, go. Get, get the extra one point for setting the fastest lap. I'm not trying to impede you. Just enjoy your life. Oh, jeez. That's all right. Somehow we took no damage. I guess you only take damage from other cars. Not a great turn. Okay, lap 9 of 13. Our new goal is not last place. If we can come not last, I would be stoked. I do see Handsome Pants TM is going to need a little refuel at some point. There, there they go, I think. We're in fourth place. We probably will not need a refuel if, if we drive our heart out. So now we're starting to, we're rolling a conserve fuel strategy. What does that mean? Conserve fuel means we're a little bit... Uh, we, we lay off the gas in the corners a little bit. We, we do a little bit more drifting just to ensure that we can actually uh, have enough fuel to carry us. We're a little bit less stop and start, okay? That was, that was a solid lap. That's going to be our best. As, it was close to our best lap. A little bit more drift heavy, okay. Just protect this fourth position. I think we're doing a great job right now. Dude, no wonder, like... Real drivers have co-drivers, right? Like, there's a lot to keep track of here. It was a lovely corner. A little hard on the tires. Tires are at 37. So we're going to try to do a little less drifting. Again, you know, you kind of want to gun hard a little bit. Maybe we could take out Gusty, but... We also want to make sure more than anything else, we stay ahead of Handsome Pants TM. That way we can preserve our streamer identity. Sometimes, in in motorsport, it's not about coming in first. If if you if it's not possible, sometimes you gotta accept the reality of the situation. Is just doing your darndest. Tires are getting a little tight here. No joke. Tires are on 13 now. 12. It's not gonna help. Now 10. 
Now eight. All right. Hey, okay. You scared me. You scared me and I hit the brakes. What happened? We, we got a time penalty for crashing into him or something. Or maybe it's just over. I have, I have 22 fuel. I actually have no idea what's happening. I'm not even in control of the car anymore. It said finished. GG's. Chad Bentley's a real person? <laughs> hey, okay, we were starting to get the hang of that. We were starting to get the hang of that. We could do that again. That's a very cool game. I still, I mean, I guess I'll put myself in top right. It's the best place for me. Yeah, no no joke, like, a li the online actually seems really cool. I like that you don't get kicked from the lobby either. Um, and I, I, liked, I liked the pitting stuff. Was this the one we just did? Was Copper, I think Copperwood was what we just did. What about Whistle Valley Weekend? A qualifier for one lap and then a seven lap race with damage from opponents but no pits. This is a really cool game. Podium finish. <laughs> Play Maple Ridge? I was wondering, Whistle Valley is kind of like Whistler. Maple Ridge? It's another British Columbian thing. There's probably about a million places called Maple Ridge, but... Is there, is there some, some British Columbian connection here? We are in Vancouver. Yo, look at that. Same here. Studio is Vancouver based. I knew I liked you. I'm sorry I hit you. It wasn't meant to be malicious. No, no, uh, no disrespect. None, none taken. No offense taken. Start me up. I'm ready. Stop looking at the driver and saying she do be kind of thick, though. She's a professional athlete, okay? She's not just a piece of eye candy for you freaking perverts. I'm. We leave it all out on the track. It's not about that kind of stuff here. Maple Ridge Mini Tournament. Okay. So this is the one that I think... I think it's one lap qualifier, and then we do three five-lap races. Be blow. I, now, uh, Chad Bentley? Real person. I am now covering my lap information. We'll change that after qualifier. Um, but that's, you know, it is what it is. We're just going to... So we're just going to keep ourselves to the far left of the screen. Um, there's no way that Alberto is a real person. Like, there's a rule online. It's called inverse reality. The closer someone's name is to being a real name, the more likely that they are an AI bot. My man, do you actually pit in the qualifier? It's a bold strategy. Me and Gusty. Heavy competition here. Heavy competition. I just want to start front row. That's that's what I'm all about. I don't know about you, Gusty. But I'm going to make you work for it, okay? All right, enjoy your victory. <laughs> all right, front row starting. Front row starting. We'll take it. All right, so put me there. We're going to cover something, but it's okay. Because I know, like, as soon as we start, people are going to be like, oh, but now there's no tire wear on this one, so you could go in the bottom left, but I'm not changing it, uh, you know, every for every race based on the parameters. I think, I think that's a good spot for it. I think that's a good spot for it. 
Alright, we are just waiting for <laughs> for Orange to complete the course. Oh, there. <laughs> hey, we had some good laps in there. Handsome pants. I mean. Come on. You didn't you didn't finish your qualifier lap? Don't apologize for hitting me. You should apologize for not even completing the the qualifier lap though. Yeah, you're you're Chad's champion. He got impaled by the guardrail on lap one. Alright, so in this one. This is pure racing. There's no pitting, I think. But we do three races. All right, first corner. It's a 60-degree bend to the right. Good stuff. Then we have another... We have a chicane to the right. Little overcorrection to the left. Then we have a hairpin. Very familiar with the hairpin. Good acceleration. Oh, we do have tire wear and stuff. Maybe I'm wrong. I assumed when it said 0%, it meant that there was none of it. It might mean that there's a 0% modifier to it. Which would mean that it's... In, in my world, that's 100%, but I am willing to agree to disagree. Not a great performance. I'm, so, I'm not trying to cause problems. I'm not trying to cause problems, Alberto. Alberto, just pass me. Just pass me, okay? He doesn't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draft him. Okay, we got to be a little bit more liberal with the brakes, I think. I know I, I haven't said this in a bit. I said it a lot early on. The actual mechanics on the driving, they feel like so good and, and heavy. You know, I don't know if you play Pummel Party, but there's there's a superficially similar minigame in Pummel Party to this. And it's like the cars are weightless. In this, they feel like they've got like... They feel like they got some heft to it. Okay, this time we got nobody around us to impede us anymore. No excuses for not having a decent lap. Just roll a nice, clean lap. Stay on the tarmac. Don't run the car so ragged that you're going to have to pit at some point. Should be fine. That's not a great turn there, obviously. but And then here you just take the apex and you accelerate out. Stay on, stay on. Okay. I'll live with it. That was a second worse than our previous best. The heck? What's wrong with me? Okay, the more time you spend driving in a corkscrew, the less well off you're going to be here. One of the universal truths of racing. Take it from somebody that's seen both Rush and Ford versus Ferrari. That was a much more solid lap. Much more solid. That was half as that was only half a second better than the one before it. I want to say that the clock is broken, but I know that that's not the case. <laughs> I think perhaps I should be remembering that in Formula 1 they don't spend that much time skidding. They kind of, you know, <laughs> if, if you find yourself skidding in Formula One, it's, it's likely something went sort of wrong. Well, we finished third. That's a regression of one, but I, I can live with it. Slow in, fast out. Okay, we can try slow in, fast out. I'm still stunned. I think our best lap was our first lap. Oh, Biblo! Biblo! Are you... You're Bilbo Shaggins? <laughs> what a great name. The clock is a piece, dude. That's true, you do get slower on, on later laps as a result of your tires getting a little worse. That's true. Five laps. Oh, and then we start in reverse order. Finally! Finally, my, my master plan comes to pass. Come in third. Oh, the beautiful start! Beautiful start! Hey, you, you pin maneuvered me, you jerk! 
look, look, we're all good. We're all cool here. I'm not trying to cause problems. I look, I'm you can't see because I don't know a controller cam. I'm I'm holding off the throttle. I'm not trying to hit anybody. It's rude. Okay, that time I did run into you. I'll I'll acknowledge that, Gusty. I'll I'll acknowledge that I did hit you. You know, race control can can deal with that at a later date. Okay, Alberto, I think you're a bot, so I have no problems giving you a piece of my mind. Slow in, fast out. <laughs> Bro, please, slow in, f slow in, fast out. Okay, this is not going super well so far. I'm just repeating slow in, fast out to myself with, with no rhyme or reason behind it. We're gonna we're gonna break a little bit more before the corners. We're gonna lay off the throttle. We're gonna break. We're gonna turn nicely and accelerate out. That that was the best proof of concept of, of us doing that so far. Then in order to hit the apex properly, you know what you gotta do. You you enter wide and exit tight. Man, Alberto's freaking running me here. See, that's not how you play that. Slap four. It's not how you play it. Thank you, Alberto. I appreciate that. Who put this... Dude. Dude. What are you doing? This is actually like you could have killed somebody. But you know what? We have retaken third place as a result. So I choose not to be upset. And everything's going okay. We're going to lay off the throttle. Hit the brakes. Decent exit. Car condition is looking just fine. Just fine. We didn't hit the pylon this time. Came around the corner quite nicely. Maybe slowing down a little too much, but protecting our position. This is the heavy hairpin. And take it in for a smooth third place. All things considered, that could have been worse. All things considered, that could have been worse. <laughs> we beat Alberto and we beat uh... oh handsome pants <laughs> what do you mean you killed handsome pants he backed out onto the straightaway He actually died. Look at that. You see his car. <laughs> oh. Hey, dude. This is a tight one. I, we came in third twice. Somehow we're in fourth place overall. Okay, sure. You know, it's a little front loaded on the prize pool. That's okay. That's okay. Alberto's in chat. He's not a bot. Good to know. Good to know. Renvoort mini tournament. All right. Oh, man. It's like a billion dollars worth of tulips there. Welcome to the Netherlands. Well, I call him a bot because look at his freaking name. Everybody else is named like Gusti XL. His name is Alberto Mastoretta. He's a dev. Oh, now I don't feel so good about beating him last time. I feel like he, he, he did it to make the streamer feel better. Not this time, though. Not this time. Fast. F slow in, fast out. Handsome pants. You're getting a little close to the sun on this one. Just a little close to the sun. Great lap. Great lap. Don't worry about running those tires. Run the tires freaking... You, I want you. I want you on the rims by the end of this. Hold it. You're okay. Don't even look at anything else. Don't even look at it. Okay, I will be in last place, and and I accept that. Excuse me, Al Alberto. Um, I'm the streamer. Don't hurt me. Sorry, we got five laps. Everything's looking okay. I'm not out here trying to cause problems. I'm, I'm a dedicated motorsport enthusiast. I, I do, maybe you've heard of it, it's called slow in, fast out. 
It's called completely missing the apex of the corner. It's called putting your back tires on sand so they have no traction whatsoever. Maybe you've heard of it. Good, good curb skip. That could have been deadly. Why am, why am I following you into this corner? You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Oops. Again. Try not be in there next time. I don't want to hit you with my car. This thing's freaking expensive, dude. So try not be in there next time. Let me know how that works out for you. That was a decent lap. Might be our best lap ever. Was our best lap ever. Lap five, give it all she's got. Hold the throttle down the whole time. Good stuff. That was an incredible corner. Now, don't lose control on the straightaway, which has been happening with shocking regularity. And then you're racing against yourself, man. At this point, you're racing against yourself. That was not so bad. Oh, another PB. <laughs> All right, well, third, third, fourth. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Hey, handsome pants, at least you... At least you finished? Yeah, there you were only seven seconds back of me. That's not so bad. Dude, this game is fun. I don't know. I don't know how chat feels about it, um, but, you know, the viewing experience and the playing experience are two separate entities. Playing this with a with a squad, I would be I would be pogged up by. I hate to not see myself on the on the podium though. It looks better than Alt F4. Well, don't damn them with faint praise, okay? Let, look, I'm I'm down for one more. We can do like a Copperwood. Uh, you you could vote for whatever you want, but I'm gonna vote for the Copperwood weekend. I like a long race with the with the pit stops in it. One sixty percent fuel consumption. Mm. That's a certified Monka S moment. Don't kill handsome pants TM this time. Well, there's a simple rule, handsome pants TM. If you don't want to get killed, don't crash if you're in front of me. If you're behind me, then you can spin out and hit the wall. I don't care. If you're in front of me and you spin out and hit the wall, probably gonna T-bone you. I will be in the Osprey GP67. Oh, we're doing another mini tournament. That's fine. I don't mind a mini tournament. <laughs> Can you run Alt F4 in the background for uh, music, please? Um, I wish. I wish. But I am, I'm just waiting for the email from YouTube that's like... Uh, this video has been demonetized because it contains content owned by John Philip Souza. Thankfully, I, I don't think we've run into that problem so far. <laughs> Anybody watching, if you have not hit the A button to select your uh, car, it would do me quite the solid if you if you did it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Don't worry. I play games with mouth. I'm used to it. All right. Qualifier. Very important. This is a very important one. We got seven people in here. All real people, apparently. None of them are moving. They want the streamer to feel happy. I respect it. Thank you. Beautiful corner. Little little heavy on the oversteer. 
fast in, fast out. You've heard about slow in, fast out. How about fast in, fast out? And then we just take the exit and send it. And send it. But this isn't even the real lap. This isn't even the real lap. This is the real lap. It's all right. Don't sweat it. Just be fast. Okay, we'll be starting in eighth place. You know this one is a it's a quick right then a left. Then this one you want to go slow in fast out. These ones you can almost take full speed. Solid. Solid. Not amazing but solid. We don't know where we're going to be yet. We're we're we finished third cuz people that were behind us were faster on their hot lap, but that's not so bad. Third out of seven? Third out of seven. P3. Nothing wrong with P3. And then, I think I've got a good... Uh, I've got a good handle on tire maintenance and fuel maintenance. Because I always... Whenever I played F1, I would always do the whole weekend. I would, al I would always do all the training exercises where it's like, hey, try not to create so much, you know wear and tear on your power consumption unit and stuff like that. I'm ready. Third place. Handsome pants! <laughs> Finished in fifth. That's not bad. That's not bad. And that's what you gotta learn about, about motorsport, right? Like, if you're rooting for a team that has a history of, you know, being, um, Williams, <laughs> then them finishing in fifth is, like, that's, that's better than winning the whole championship. Here we go. Ryan watches F1. I, I, I followed a season or, or, or so. No, no eliminations right off the bat, please. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to let you pass me, don't get me wrong. I would rather get passed than get hit because I'm just trying to race. I didn't, I didn't get into this to cause problems. I mean, again, you're, you're, you're really just making it easy for the other two people in front of us to win, you know? We gotta, everybody, we're, we're in this together. Like, at the back of the pack, we don't impede each other because that makes it harder for all of us to get up to the front. Okay, I'm just going to let you go ahead. I've made a terrible mistake there, Biblo. Okay, wear and tear is looking just fine. Oh, let me guess. I killed Handsome Pants TM that time as well. When they when they deliberately crash into me four times and then spun out because they can't handle the torque. I don't think so. Are you crazy? I just walked over here. Okay, so it's all about, you know, don't forget, we got pit stops in the race. We got nothing to worry about there. That was a good lap. You don't have to catch up on lap one. Though I would not mind. That was a, you, you did great on that one. Gusty, you did an amazing job. Great overtake. You know, again, there's no reason for you to impede me. I am just running my own line. You have bumped me onto the dirt, and I will remember that. It's not that kind of game. All things considered, considering the strife that we dealt with on that lap, I don't feel too bad about it. Lap four or five. Oh, that's right. We're not doing the pit heavy race, so I don't... Actually, this one, you kind of just have to leave it all out on the table. Well, a little... <laughs> A little early on that one. It's fine. Go ahead and pass me. You deserve it. Uh-oh. Rubbin's racing, by the way. I think you got me. I don't, I don't think I can get you. That'll be a fifth place finish. Oh, we're not done yet. One more lap. One more lap. Thank God I didn't take my, my hand off the throttle. Good corner. We're just It's all about stacking up good corners here. Another good corner. Now, careful. He's going to be a little upset. This is where you really got to leave him in the dust. Right through the apex. Do it again. Okay, that felt that felt solid. That felt like real racing. 
And I'm not talking about the, the Kindle Fire game. That Now we're talking. Now we're talking. See what happens if people stop hitting me every time I go around? I'll, I'll live with that fourth place, dead center. Good lap, good lap. Best move in my career so far. Good race, good race, b -blow. Good race. Don't even talk about handsome pants. They went out like to try to destroy me that whole time. Best lap. Still the fourth best, best lap. That's not where I want to be. I thought that lap would have been a little stronger. Handsome pants, like, he was, what do they call it? It's like a missile. He, he was just like trying to ram me the whole time. Just, just run your race, okay? Just run your race. It's not deliberate. <laughs> okay, well, you know. All right, Roman Grosjean. I'm ready. Fourth place, which is actually third place because there's somebody AFK. Look at that, right off the bat. Oh, uh, excuse me. I didn't realize that... Um, all I'm saying is never play F1. If, if you can't handle these starts, don't play F1. Because you're gonna you're gonna lose your mind when you start in a like a 20 or 22 person field. Okay, that time I basically did just ruin that uh, racer's life. I apologize. That I really don't don't have much to offer in my own defense there. <laughs> oh jeez, I <laughs> pretty much pretty much killed him. Um, I'm just trying to let handsome pants go ahead. Like whenever I try to overtake, it's like when you walk. <laughs> See. It's like when you walk by somebody and you're trying to pass them on the left and they like subconsciously start to move towards the left. Like whenever you try to pass them, they swerve out in front of you. Okay, that's, I deserve that penalty. I deserve that penalty. I'm not, I'm not trying to overtake you. I'm trying to drive the best race I can drive and then hopefully overtake you through the power of good racing. Not, not through the power of hitting you, you know, at the apex of the corner and spinning you out. That's not the way I like to live my life. I'm about the, I'm about the thrill of the overtake. Again, it, it's, it's hard not to feel like it's intentional when you're accelerating into the wall on the corner. That's all I'm going to say. I got to admit, that was a great corner. We're in fifth place. That's not where I want to be. Let's say that he's being a little aggressive on the on the corners here. I, again, like, I, I it's not real frustration. The only frustration I have is with the narrative that I'm the one killing Handsome Pants TM. When he's doing everything in his power to get in front of me. And then, like, spinning out because he took the corner badly because his only goal was to hit me. And then he gets spun out and killed. That's all I'm saying. You know, if you want to run your race like that, then in enjoy coming in second last. I consider myself too, pri too prideful for that. I'll be coming in third last instead. Careful of those tires. Lap five of five. <laughs> that was, I mean, it was not a good race, but... Um, we were constantly uh, being hit in every single corner. This, this is what it's like to be a streamer online. You know, you, you think it's easy, but there's a lot of perks on the job. Don't get me wrong. But uh, anytime you play a game online, prepare to be targeted. All right, I did send... I think I sent Gusty or, or Biblo. I, I did kill them. But that was an accident. I promise I don't mean to. I'm just really bad and don't remember that holding gas doesn't always mean going the fastest. Okay, fine. But that's one of your last chances. <laughs> Oh, 
At least, all I would ask is that you, if you're gonna spin out, can you just spin out in front of somebody else? So that I can, I can have some benefit. Oh my god. Uh, I... I was hoping... That maybe they would be AFK. Um... I guess the, the ghost didn't turn on fast enough. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blame him for that. I, I play better from behind. There's score effects, baby. Plus, you, you get one extra point for having the hottest lap. Acceptable first lap. All things considered, acceptable first lap. Good turn. Solid. No complaints. Acceptable as well. Careful, those straightaways really sneak up on you. Gotta be honest, John's playing a great game here. <laughs> Kept me way ahead. Somebody went into the pits? Oh, that's not a pit lane. Okay, this is starting badly. Let's recover. Focus. It was because I was glancing at chat. Somebody called me Jeff Gordon. And I, I, I was basking in their praise. I literally, I looked at their tires and I said to myself, self, follow what they're doing with their tires. They seem like they know what they're doing. All right, now we get to observe handsome pants with someone that's not the streamer. Can't help but notice a much more passive driving style. Hey, why don't you go ahead? No, I don't mind hanging back. Good. Better. Make sure you're staying a little over here. They didn't even touch the dirt. We're gonna make up a little time right here. This is our final lap. It's all over. <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> I I got a little aggressive on that one. I'm not afraid to admit it. I was like, let's attack this corner hard, see how it goes. It's a very fun game, though. I uh, racing games on Twitch they always have an uphill battle. Um, and I feel like racing games in general always have an uphill battle. I know I've talked about it before, but I find it like kind of, I find it kind of annoying. Um, because I'm like, racing games are always like put in the same corner as, as like our category as, uh, like sports games. Best sports g games and racing. Racing games are sick, man. Forza Horizon 4, incredible game. Gran Turismo. Wonderful series. And just racing is one of those mechanics. Like, people will play, like, 55 games a, a year that involve, like, shooting guns at somebody in the desert. But when they play, like, one racing game, they're like, nah, play them all. 